Alright, so we're just doing our first round of disgorging here with our 2016 Rosé. Um, it's a blend of predominantly cat funk with a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, we're taking it out of these cages. It's now been riddling um, for a little over a week. And you can see, if you come close, and hold that up over the bottom, you can see how it's completely clear. And there's a little bit of a yeast chunk in the bottom. Well, we need to be able to pop this top, and we want to get all the yeast out of there um, so we have a clear product. So what we do is we put it in here, and Joe will... And then after it's reached the proper temperature, it gets a little frozen, so we can take it over here and disgorge it out, releasing all of that yeast back into solution. And then the next step here is we're, we're dosing it. So right here we have a measured amount, it's five mils of solution. It's um, a mixture of wine to so top it back up to 750 mils. You lose a little bit during the process, so you want to top it back up to 750 mils. Um, and you can add a little bit of dosage if you have any sugar or brandy, this is the time to do it in a, measure, in a measured dosage. And then we have a topping wine here too, that if there's any excess, just any excess gushing, we can actually top it up with a little bit more wine to hit our 700 mil. Then we'll take it out. We'll come over here. Um, we have our corker, so we'll put in our champagne cork. Champagne cork doesn't go in all the way. Um, you have to leave a little bit of space for the cage, the wire hood to go on top. And that gets done here. It spins seven times. He presses, bam, there you go. So that's kind of, it goes from here, it goes into a bath. Just to rinse it out, it's been sitting on its side for a number of months, roughly nine months. Um, so we'll get all the sediment off there. And then it'll go over to the court. That we'll do it, you want to show the labeling action? Yep, do one of the two. Yeah, just a little slap of label on there. 